Epilogue, Singing into the Light. First and last, let's pause to praise the singers who stayed forever just to hear one song, and one that ran through images of mages, saints, and demons, panic poses deep in fawn-filled forests, effusive streams of ectoplasmic blues, lovebirds who appeared again, 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 and then again, poets intercepting muse-made missives, Shakespeare in his madness and despair, and all the while the mischief of the maker, Master Donald, who puzzled with his queries and connections, then moved us where magic delved, where saintly fortune-tellers, removed from Dante's pains, were given credence and complete forgiveness. Yes, let's start where we end, before the place where there is no beginning, where only the quiet light can resonate our raptures and make our words like brushstrokes in the night, tiny stars that rivet ears and eyes, that move outward, ever outward, as sunlight will not end once past the earth, and singing will not stop to see the sun.